Hey guys, Hoy Archer here. So today I want to show you guys a bow that I've been working on for a while now. Uh, it's a kind of a long bow with recurves. I started making this bow um, basically on a personal message that I've gotten through YouTube. Someone was asking me if you if you can build a long bow with recurves in it. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure on 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 what the actual name of that bow would be. I always assume that any bow with a recurve is just considered a recurve. However, I may be wrong. So anyway, I just gave it my best effort here. Um, I was working on this bow for a while now. Actually, this is the same bow that I did the the scroll work inlay on my on my um, last video or a couple other videos I made. Basically, it was just a short video on how to do scroll work. So the bow is finally completed and this is what it looks like so as you can see here it's the center of the handle uh, this bow is meant to be shot offhand simple hand wrap and then you can see it's a straight limb here and right at the tip it has a slight recurve out as you can see these tips here were my hand molded style that I've been doing lately I find this makes the bow look a whole lot better than just um, cutting out simple knocks for it. I mean, I still do it from time to time, but on a nice long project bow, I go ahead and try to make it as nice as I can. So, you can see there, that's the tip there. Recurve, and other side here. So, as you can see here, this is the finished product on that scroll work that I was work that I was showing you guys in the last video. Let's see if we can get this on the video here. You see in the back what I did was a wood base uh, flux paint job and then um, I put the scroll work piece on top, overlaid it, and then gold etched it around with the gold ink markers. And you can see it kind of scrolls in through the handle and out the other end to make it look like it's a nice continuous scroll going all the way up the bowl. It almost has like a uh, elfy effect to it. It's kind of trippy. Um, on the back, what I did was I just did a wood green sanding on the back with a uh, OD green finish. Uh, this bowl pulls in at 45 pounds at 28 inches. So I'm going to string this up and shoot it for you guys. And the string that I'm using here is a continuous loop string. I like these just because they're a whole lot faster to make than the Flemish. Alright. Oh, so there's also this part here. What I found out is as I was making this this bend here, for some reason everything else lines up, but when I put the string on it, this section here would hit this um, bend in the bowl. Kind of like this. So this section has some space between it, so I was getting a real loud zinging noise when I was shooting it. So I put a small piece of felt here. So now that's all strung up and ready to go, I'm going to take it outside and shoot it. Sorry for the shaky camera. I gotta set you guys up here. Let me see the target there.
so we'll take some shots with this bow, see how it does. See that there. So there you go. Um, three arrows, my dead stop bag with my 45 pound, I guess you would call this a longbow with recurves. So there you go, one last look. Might be able to see this better out here. Alright, so if you guys have any questions or comments, y'all know where to leave it. I'll check you guys later.